Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW. It could be any BMW that's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive. So that will probably cover 95% of the BMWs. Uh, now, if you guys uh, have vibrations, okay, the car vibrates when you're accelerating, you floor it, you're accelerating and you feel vibrations kind of like under the seat, the whole body is shaking a little bit. Uh, and uh, when you're driving normal, you almost don't feel those at all or you feel vibrations when you're downshifting on manual, especially transmission or deaccelerating. We'll explain uh, uh, three things that can actually cause that. So make sure you stand to the end and we'll cover all that as we go. Now. <coughs> Excuse me, before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping for your BMW or any car, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can save a ton of money. That's where we get our tools and supplies from. So let's uh, show you guys what we have specifically here. This is uh, the front half of the rear drive shaft, okay? The other half is still on the car, okay? Let me show you. It's right there. If I zoom in, you will see next to the exhaust right there. And that's the drive shaft support bearing there. When you guys feel... Okay, let's get two screwdrivers, okay? So I can show you something here when you put a little bit of stress. Uh, the front end of the drive shaft, or sometimes the rear one, attaches to the transmission or the transfer case with a flex joint, also known as guibo. This is the old one, guys. And this one has cracks, okay? Under stress, okay? For normal use, those things, especially if you drove your car really hard, they will fail because that's just rubber, guys. And they will, uh, they will develop cracks, which will make it um, uh, actually less supporting okay check it out now okay let me let me zoom in let me clear that picture okay those cracks makes everything okay failing guys okay check it out so as a result okay uh that that uh, flex joint okay will not be performing correctly guys so you can see uh that will cause vibrations under acceleration hard acceleration or the acceleration the other thing that can cause vibrations is the drive shaft support bearing it can fail in two ways one is the, the flexible rubber that holds it and prevents the drive shaft from vibrating okay and uh, that rubber guys okay I've seen it where it's missing and this one you can see it's cracked on the inside okay let me focus let me focus quick all the little cracks right there that failed guys so uh, another thing that failed on ours is that bearing that bearing developed a play and that will cause vibrations as well any of those uh, two things can cause vibrations the last thing that can cause vibrations as well guys okay is the drive shaft uh, bearings that are on the rear side right there the way it attaches to the rear differential okay so bad uh, drive shaft bearings bad guivo bad flex joint will cause vibrations but these two will be the most likely to go 90% of the time and almost on every BMW over 100,000 miles, we have to replace those. If you want to see guys uh, how to replace them, we have the video on the channel that will explain how to do that. Just uh, search for BMW flex joint, guibo or drive shaft support bearing replacement on our channel and you, you will be able to see step by step how to do it without even using a press. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.